Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Rad, welcome to Rad Tarot, and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and uh, Aries Rising weekly tarot reading for April 15th to April 21st, 2019. And uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a, a general reading for Aries star sign. And uh, for that reason, the reading is going to relate to different things and as well is going to uh, resonate in a different uh, level or in a different way with every single different Aries. So uh, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread. But uh, if you do, and also I'm going to give you a few examples at the end of the reading, you know, to make it more clear uh, how the reading could manifest in the most general way uh, but uh, if you do want a uh, your personal situation to be analyzed uh, by me through tarot just like I will do for the few examples at the end of the video and to tell you what is going to happen with it future wise that is a, a subject of a private reading and uh, for such you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. So that being set aside, going to the Aries uh, weekly reading here, the first card that marks the topic of Aries this week, that is going to be the, the uh, Knights of Wands, followed by the second card, which is the negative approach that Aries could take toward the week, toward the topic of the week, that is going to be the Nine of Wands, followed by the third card, which is the positive approach, that could be uh, your intentions, um, opportunities coming around and so on and so forth, that is going to be the World card, and the last one, which is the final outcome of growth, uh, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot itself, that is going to be the Two of Swords, so once again, Knight of Wands, it is the general topic of your week, followed by the Nine of Wands, which is the negative approach that you can take toward the topic, then what we do have, it is the World card, which is the positive approach toward the topic, or what you should do in regards to Knight of Wands, and the last one that is going to be the Two of Swords, the Growth card, the final outcome of growth, should you follow here the guidance of Tarot. All right, so uh, going to the first card, which is the general topic of the week, that is going to be the Knights of Wands. So the card represents a, a very ent enterprising young person, someone who is totally ready to do what is needed in order to, to basically push things through in a sense of the, I do see these cards here, this card here as a general topic of your behalf, uh, I is going to be a person you're going to cooperate with. Now, uh, because it's the prime topic or because it's, it is in the prime card and you have to, in general, tackle with this person, you can somewhat count it as a reliable person to a certain extent as his role, I'm saying he is because most likely is going to be a young person, a young man that is, is to uh, give your helping hand in regards to either a project into uh, work or it will help you, for example, you know, get on the same page with your partner into your relationship or friendship wise as well. The accompanied card that is going to be the, the King of Cups and the formation here, it is a active enemies. So what the King of Cups adds as a contribution is that this, this person, Knights of Wands, is not going to hide any kind of emotions towards you, but also makes it very impulsive in a sense of that no matter um, if you are right or wrong with your standpoint, that person, Knights of Wands, is going to take your side, even if they see, you know, that you are not right based on your statement. Uh, for example, if you're going through a divorce and that car represents your new lawyer, even though your new lawyer could see that you don't have any prerequisites for the demands that you are, t that you are making, uh, the lawyer itself is going to take fully your side and they're going to turn over any kind of stone they can in order to make you beneficial in this undertaking. 
So you can have a, a faithful supporter throughout the week, Aries. You are going to have a faithful supporter throughout the week. One thing I want to say is that this person is a bit impatient and they always want to, uh, they are venturous in the sense of that they want always a constant challenge in front of themselves. Uh, that's why you should not stop your motion or rather like your approach as well, either toward your career or toward your relationship. Now, the second card, which is the negative approach you can take toward the situation it is exactly what we talked about here slowing down your approach as the nine of wands this represents one gathering strength one being patient one um carefully analyzing the minor details before one actually charges uh forward now this is in a negative position which means that you are ready let's say to um to make your charge forward or rather like to make your conquest and so on and so forth no more preparations are needed either for you to um how can i place it to siege all right that a person you are have interest in or to storm that project which is presented in front of you and you just need a little bit to take it the accompanied card here with the nine of wands that is going to be the page of wands so the uh, formation is a <clears throat> active supporters and as the page uh, is very good on its own and it does support the nine of wands it means that you definitely need that cooperation you may have the impression that you can uh, that you can basically you know do it on your own or manage it on your own for that matter but as soon as you invest yourself into the undertaking which uh, this week marks for you or the most important thing from the week that uh, comes up for you, you are quickly to realize that either is going to be way too time consuming and that's why it doesn't, it doesn't really work doing it on your own or it is much bigger than you, th than you initially thought and that's why once again it will be much more beneficial for you to cooperate with the knight with the knight of wands which once again is going to be that young enterprising person who is ready basically to do whatever it takes in order to in this case help you so going to the next card which is the positive approach toward the situation that is going to be the world card so how you can best utilize or capitalize on the help that knight of wands does represent so the world card represents fulfilling or finalizing a long-term pursued goal meaning you can use the help of the knight of the nine the knight excuse me of wands which is that enterprising young person to um seal the deal with a, a very important matter in your life and that is very advisable for you to do reaching the culmination and generally liberating yourself from this uh, stone which is holding you back from moving on forward so we do have here a, a resolution of a, a big I cannot say plight or trouble but a, a very big question mark in your life additionally from that um, furthermore once that thing is finalized here through the world card then a, a new perspective needs to emerge soon so this person plays a couple of roles first helps you to uh fulfill that long-term chase goal in your uh in your life and second it does contribute through a deliberations most likely what is going sh what should be your next goal for your life either regarding career or either regarding relationship wise as well so you have a couple of uses from the knights of wands that person that comes around the additional card here this is going to be the uh, ace of wands with the world the formation is passive neutrals and uh, this card regards to the new goal that you will have to place after you know you um you sort out that long-term chase um, endeavor or a project or a relationship or whatever and this new goal as the card stands here should be something that you do have a clue how to proceed on forward that should not be a completely new gaining for uh gaining for enterprise new in the sense that you do have no clue whatsoever how to further your things through in it uh create chaos and, and learning just straight away it is not quite advisable so this um, new enterprise should fall in the framework of your current 
knowledge, capabilities, and um, in general understanding of uh, how you know of how one should proceed with that goal moving on uh, moving on forward uh, how what what kind of example i can give you here is let's say you finalize a long term project into your career with the help of this uh, person so you have to place in front of yourself a new kind of a project and this new kind of a project needs to be similar to the old one so you kind of have a certain base uh, basis or a certain foundation from you to jump um as a trampoline from rather than to uh, completely initiating a, a brand new kind of a project which you have a little clue how to deal with you don't have support uh, through your development and so on and so forth so your new goal needs to be an upgrade to the old one rather than something in a brand new direction and from there the final outcome of growth should you follow here the guidance of tarot that is going to be the two of swords the two of swords as a growth card the keyword is peace so you are going to have a complete peace into your environment either career wise or either relationship wise which means that the majority of the problems you are facing the issues or the setbacks that is are going to be either resolved or they will no longer have effect upon your new goal here that we do have additionally to that with the two of swords you are to sort out some sort of a dramas or dilemmas that is and things are going to start hanging out on a very precious equilibrium the very least if you do have rivals let's say these rivals will no longer be able to touch you in any way or to make to do you harm in any way as uh, something is going to oblige them not to make any move toward bringing you down uh, the accompanied card that is going to be the tree of pentacles formation is active enemies and from here unfortunately this person knights of wands will no longer be a part of your life so we do have a just a temporary a partial uh, help so a cooperation for just over a week through which you are going to extract great benefits but from there you will have to move on your own which kind of like excludes the uh the possibility that that could be really a, a romantic enterprise or if it is a, a romantic enterprise first is going to manifest itself into your career field and as you move along you know and that person helps you with your projects and so on and so forth and let's say in case you do have emotions toward them and as we saw uh they will not hold back their emotions toward you either then you do have a choice to make as with the two of swords there will be a drama and dilemma and you have to resolve it in a sense of that should you jump into a relationship with this person you cannot work together any longer all right so you will have to sacrifice one thing over another if you do want to keep that person as a, a part of your life so that being said Aries, this was your weekly tarot reading guys for a april 15 to april 21st 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again again as a general reading of Aries star sign uh, this reading is going to resonate uh, it's going to relate excuse me in a diff uh, for a different stuff uh, different subjects and it's going to resonate in a different way with every single different Aries but if you do want a, a private reading in which we are going to discuss your personal situation and I'm going to give you uh, what is going to happen with it in the future that is a subject of a, a private reading and for such you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the private call readings. Rat signing out now, see you next time. Bye!